Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 58 of Direwolf20's server play series. Logged into the server today to see that there was a new Thalmcraft update. So the first thing I wanted to do was try out my, uh, my, my little guys here. I wanted to see if their pathfinding had improved. If you guys remember from the last couple episodes, uh, they've had a little trouble getting their uh, wares around. So I gave this a shot and it worked really well. I'm going to give it a try again. I'm just throwing eight of this earth essence in here. And the guy should run over to this little earth essence right now. So let's shift right click and see how he does. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. He did a real nice job. And this little guy is zipping along. They actually seem like they're moving a little faster than they used to as well, which is really kind of nice. I'm excited about that. Um, looks like I have to give him just a few more nifty little things. Uh, let's get some more clay here. That should be enough. How am I for glass? Not much. So yeah, uh, I'm excited because there's like this update to Thalmcraft that fixes some of those weird funky problems we were having earlier, which is pretty neat in my opinion. Oh yeah, very cool. Let's put this in here. This turtle, or this uh, little golem guy should come right over and get the vial. Nice. Oh yeah. I kind of feel like this is a huge improvement. Let's throw... Ooh, maybe I'll throw some more of this poison stuff in here. Just to see how he does, like, traveling a long distance. So if I wanted to, I could throw, like... I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do now. <laughs> Ooh, well, I could throw eight cobblestone in here, because I think I've got some of the destructive... Ah, it's kind of full. Yeah, I just wanted to play with this guy for a few minutes to see how well he did. But, maybe not. Ooh, eight of you? Maybe I'll throw some coal or redstone in. That might be cool. I just want to see how well he does, like, moving around for a minute or two. And just to show you guys on camera, too. So if I threw, like, four of this in here, that ought to do well. So let's see how he does. Do your thing, little dude. Ah, he put it in there because he knew there was nowhere over here for him to go. Nice. Because uh, what he had put away was some machinima, machinima, whatever. You know what it is, that thing. And I don't think there's any vial over here that can accept it. Also, I believe, uh, from what I'm told that this guy will now prioritize already filled jars um, over empty jars if it matches the item. So, awesome. So these guys are a little nice update from Thomcraft, and it looks like it worked really well. Uh, the other thing I want to get to, if you didn't see it in my inventory, was everything I need to make a gravity chest plate. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, right here, boom, boom, boom. I've got a fully charged quantum suit body armor. I've got these two guys, and I've got this thing and that thing. Hooray, gravity chest plate. Not too full at the moment, but that's okay. I'm just going to run over to my thermal expansion, uh, or no, my nuclear reactor. Yeah, what am I saying, thermal expansion? You know what I was going to actually say was, uh, yeah, the reason I thought that was because um, the, the, the mod that I was using to check this uh, whole nuclear reactor heat thing, not so updated yet. Um, I wonder if it's back, though. Hmm. It might be back by now. I guess not, because it's not showing up in here. So, yeah, I need to go ahead and get myself hooked up um, with some way to monitor this heat. I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. Like, I'm going to wait for the mod to come back. I just don't think it's updated to the test version of uh, Industrial Craft that we're using right now. We're using a test version of IC2, and I can just turn this guy on manually for a little bit. Let him generate some power. In theory. Oh, you know what? Yeah, because everything's shut off here, isn't it? Uh, that did that, and you should now be creating heat and energy and stuff. Are you filling up or what? The reactor's running. Why isn't the thing running? Oh, well, I'll figure it out. Anyway, I uh, want to get back to that crazy, nifty little device I was making last episode, the frame machine. I'm um, going to figure out what's wrong with this nuclear reactor real quick, and then uh, be back in a few. Okay, guys, I'm back, and now we've got Soren and Marvelari with us here, and I think Flora is still on uh, Team Speak. Maybe, maybe she is, maybe she's not. And I have something I want to show I'm you guys. Here. <laughs> if you didn't see my post on Twitter, which you should be following me on Twitter, if you're not, shame. But uh, yeah, this is why Forgecraft exists. <laughs> this is what's known as a chunk reset for those of you who are not in the know it's when minecraft has no idea what to do with something something really really broke and it said i give up i'm rebuilding this whole chunk from scratch 
So this is one chunk, a 16 by 16 area, and it just recreated it in the world as if um, you know it was a brand new generation of the world. Uh, so it goes all the way down to bedrock, as it were. Um, so yeah, this entire chunk reset. There's nothing behind the dirt here. It's all just filled in dirt again, as if it were you know just generated all over. So that whole chunk is reset. Uh, our, the, the guys are working on uh, doing a restore, but I thought it was interesting to see on camera. You guys might have enjoyed seeing it. So uh, yeah, this is why Forgecraft exists. So that hopefully this is less likely to happen once you guys get your hands on the mods. Something broke somewhere and some mod did something that Minecraft really didn't like and it said, oh, all right, I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to regenerate this whole area because it's going to be a problem. Good times. Uh, so let's go to New Digger and start messing around with uh, frames. And I'm back! Hooray! I've got flight! Oh boy, did I miss not having flight. Oh man, flight is key. Flight is totally key. Um, but I'm ready here to uh, have some fun. So that's the up. It's obviously not working because this thing's as far up as possible now, but I can do that. And it's going to work and do everything I want it to do. Um, so I brought it up as far as it can go. This is like another round of my testing right here. Is like, you know, let's pretend I pushed it up too far. Like, we're here now. Do I have any problems pushing it back down? Yes. Nope. Nope. Nope, except oh, that button. button what caused that button? Well, that's okay. Like, the button isn't really going to be there. There we go. <laughs> Where was that button such that it fell? It was on the side of this frame, not connected. Oh, right, not connected to a frame, right. No, okay. it is. No, it's okay, it doesn't matter. That button is like tubes. fake button, temporary fake button. All right, so next, um, I need to be able to move this thing around. Now, I did have like a crazy ridiculous idea. Did I tell you my crazy ridiculous idea, Soren? No. Well, like, the thing is, right now... We can kind of, if we want, like, just have, like, a straight-up, like, no moving back and forth frame machine that goes, like, something like this. Mm-hmm. Which is awesome. And again, these are all block breakers, right? Right. So, like, how funny would it be for me to make a 9x9 nine nine mining head? <laughs> I feel like that might be a pretty cool idea. <laughs> Nine this, by nine chunk size. this was the idea from yesterday. I still approve of it. I could do <laughs> chunk size if I really wanted to. That'd be 16 by 16, which would be, like, a little ridiculous. Like, not, not, not completely ridiculous, but a little ridiculous. Like, 9 by 9, I think, would be yeah, pretty... Nine. That, that, yeah, that would be Direwolf like, 20-ish, if I were yeah, to say. Yeah, tr tr drill to the, to the center of the Minecraft Earth. Um, have right. it be the only 9 by 9 you ever need. Right. Let's rephrase that. 9 by 9 chunk height. Right. That's what we're going for. Okay. Well, like, no, it's just going to be a mining head, right? So, like, the whole bottom yeah. of this mining head is 9 by 9. And then, you know, like, and then it goes down. I'll move the whole platform, and I'll center it over, like, the area I want to mine. And then just have it go straight down. Like, no left and right, just straight down. And then straight back up. And then when I want to do another area, I can just, you know, move the platform forward 9 blocks or something. And then straight down again. <laughs> Would that be kind of funny? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> All right, I think that's the plan now. So, YouTube audience, that is now the plan. Uh, this will be a 9x9 nine nine mining head, just because. Well, just because. <laughs> because and, Direwolf. Yeah, just because. This, because Direwolf. Was this little motor supposed to move? No, it was not. So I need to put okay. um, a cover there. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, that was definitely not supposed to happen. Uh, cover is required on top and all around. Like, I haven't gotten to the cover stage yet. I'm just messing around for now. So let me clean this stuff up, and I'll be back in a minute when I'm ready to build a platform that will go around this whole area, and I'll be back. Okay. All right, guys, I'm back. I think I've got pretty much most of what I need. We'll see if I'm missing anything. Uh, so let's see. Do I want the part that controls the up and down mechanics to be on the platform or underneath the platform? That's question number one. Like, do I actually want to see this thing feeding up and down or not? Hmm. Because it'll look kind of cool with that being on top of the platform where I'm standing and watching, like, the whole motion of everything. Wouldn't that be kind of cool, Soren? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm thinking it might be. So, like, what I'm thinking then is, let's move this guy down a bit. Just, like, one or two blocks. Did I take all the things out of here? Yeah, I did. How come there's bundled cable in there? Did I put that in there? I didn't have these, so... I must have done that. 
Weird, I didn't even know I had bundled cable on me. No idea how that got in there. Oh well. Um, yeah, so that looks good, right? And then I'm thinking like around the outer edges here, we'll probably want to set up things. I'm probably gonna need a lot of, um, of, of covers and stuff right now, which I don't think I brought with me. So how about I go get some covers and then I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back after just testing out to make sure that this worked, and it did, so I'm really happy about that, um, functioning and everything. Um, so what I'm doing is getting set up for what's going to be, like, the center platform thingy. Um, basically, let's get this guy set up like so. And I need, in the center here, this thing. Probably get my minium stone out for now. Um, so this is, like, the part of the frame that this thing's gonna slide down, and that should okay and be good. Ooh, that's gonna be a nuisance to get a lock into. How am I gonna do that? Probably just through the top here. There we go. Uh, and then I should be able to connect this guy in here again. So like, imagine this is the floor that I stand on. So I'm just going to be like standing here and like there'll be like a platform all around me. And what I actually think is I might want to make this two stories. We'll have to see though. Uh, so we will do this to move it up. See how that works? So it's all connecting and working all right there. I didn't put covers all the way in the bottom, so I'm not going to move it all the way up. But then this to move it down. There we go. Cool. Nice. Not too shabby. All right, that's a good start. What are you guys up to? You're checking out Azanor's house. Uh, yeah, that arcane levitator. Um, I, I, I thank goodness I'm on push to talk, else I would have been screaming on your video. I did not expect that. Yeah, they're cool, aren't they? Yes, they're super cool. It's just I didn't expect that. <laughs> and then I turned it off. And it responds to redstone signals. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, there's about. more bundled cable in this deployer. Are you sure you're not putting bundled cable in here, Soren? I'm not there. <laughs> is it putting it in there? It shouldn't Maybe be, should... but... I don't know, like, there's bundled cable just showing up. I gotta How figure many? out if that's a bug, maybe. How many? Are, are all these jars, like, the different kinds of essences? Yeah, and is the number of bundled cable equals the number of frames that were there before you broke them? I don't know. What are you asking me for? Because you're there. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. It's creating bundled cable every time it block breaks a redstone tube frame. It's actually creating both, it looks like. I'm really tempted to go exploit that, but I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't like crafting it. Bug report, 759.3, How is that even happening? They're not even the same item ID. Um, uh, let's see. That's really weird. See, guys, I told you, bugs, they happen, and they need to be reported and fixed. You might have mm -hmm. just copied one of the classes over and forgot the number. Missed the number or something. Who knows? My sulfur torches. Really? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Did you do that? No. <laughs> I come in and I pretty go. I, I, I jumped in one of the rooms in there and oh, I got I pushed into a wall. Oh, the minecart there up here. Oh, dear. You just must have pissed it. So correct me if I'm wrong here, guys, but I think this is a 9 by 9 of frames, right? In there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. One, two, three, four, As five, six, seven. As the YouTube audience responds to seven. I know. What do you want from me? More frames needed. I'll be back after I craft many, 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 many more frames. I was cooking up brass. <laughs> I'll be back in a few. Maybe even after I finish the 9x9 platform. All right, guys, I'm back. It looks like I've got a 9x9 platform of frames. Awesome. Wow, I'm already like half out of my gravitation suit. That's going to be terrible. Especially because I have to fix my nuclear reactor. I found out what's wrong with my nuclear reactor, by the way. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, the server is now set to use like the steam-powered version of nuclear reactors, so we have to like make that thing output steam 
instead of it doesn't output EU directly. Like there's a config setting in Industrial Craft, you can make it output, I guess, like the Railcraft, Buildcraft, Steam stuff instead of uh, you know anything like directly into EU type of deal. Aha, uh -huh. and yeah. Lyra, I think I figured out how that cart picks you up. How's that? There's a little embarking rail, I think. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. So, what we're gonna do... Break this Yay for there lots of bundled cable, though. I'm totally exploiting that bug. <laughs> really? I'm not even kidding. Perfect. Like, so now I've got a 9x9. A nice little platform. He caught you this time, Soren. Okay, you're out. <laughs> yeah, I have a fall. <laughs> I'm half yes. tempted to make this a two-story 9x9. Like, have one story here that has, like, the whole moving drill bit thing. And maybe even, mm -hmm. like, the... Maybe I could have, like, the motors inside that do all the moving around. And then, like, have a second story of frames that has, like, all the smelting and processing and stuff. That would be kind of cool. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We'll have to see if I can make that happen. Um, what's next? Hmm. Well... I think, like, it would probably be a good idea for me to start working on just moving this whole thing at least in two dimensions, like this direction and that direction. I'm not going to worry about up and down just yet, but, you know, for now at least it'll be mobile. So how about I go get, I guess I'm going to need four more frame motors? Yeah. So I'm going to need to do the whole, you know, Caterpillar drive thing. I'll be back once I've created the motors and a couple other things that I'm going to need. All right, guys, back here making some uh, redstone, uh, using my minium stone here to get myself some ender pearls, which I'm going to need a good amount of. And I'm going to grab a good amount of redstone and glowstone. As you can see, I'm getting desperately low on redstone. In fact, like, I'm getting to the point where I might even just say, like, all right, let's get, like, this much EU matter just to help me out a little bit for now. I might have to, like, go mining or something. Like, I'm really actually a little bit low on resources, believe it or not. Even with all, like, the stuff that I made recently, it's really just drained out everything. There we go. Redstone. Just a few little bits of it. Um, off to New Digger. So I need to make some wireless redstone stuff, because that's the way I always like to control my uh, frame contraptions. And I've got a kind of a good plan for this going forward. Um, I'm going to surprise you guys. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do, but it's going to be different from what you're kind of used to, I think. Yep, probably. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's get moving with some stuff. Uh, I'm going to need some redstone pearls. So let's teach this recipe because um, it's not a bad one to teach. There we go. Some of that, some of that, and you guys... Cool. I'm going to scribe that on there. So we can get a couple of redstone ether pearls. Not a bad thing. I'll just get a whole stack of them. Well, almost a stack, I guess. Um, yeah, got as many as the glowstone I had would allow. Let's put it that way. Uh, next up, probably going to want to put this guy on here. Because the only thing we can use these for, I think everything is just right on top of the wireless transceiver. It doesn't really go anywhere else that I'm going to use it for, at least. So, yeah. Let's just, you know, immediately combine these. I don't have to get, like, a written thing. Yeah, that's good. And, um, I don't think I have to do this guy written down either. Like, I'll just do these manually. Just a handful of them. That'll do. Cool. Uh, what I do want to do, though, is write down a plan for the following couple things. Um, let me figure out what the recipe is. I forget. Okay, and I'm back. And pretty much got here some uh, wireless redstone stuff. Wireless redstone was finally uh, set up on the server, ready to go, so I can start messing around with this. And I did set up a blueprint for a receiver and a transmitter. I'm going to just make a couple receivers here. Let's do four for now. That ought to be enough. Uh, so that should be good. And then I'm going to get working on uh, the items I need to get started with uh, a couple more motors. I think I'm going to need four of them at this point. All right, guys, I am just poking around trying to figure out how I want to get this thing to work. Um, it's I'm trying to make it compact and nice, but we're going to see how well I can do with that. Um, so what we have right now, um, I actually made a little bit of a change. We'll see how well it works. Um, changed it so that the breaker is here and the deployer is up here. So that way, um, moving down and deploying can be activated with this red wire right here. So that's like one motion, right? 
that one redstone signal should do that. And I'm going to place one of these guys here with a wireless redstone. And uh, I don't know what... Um, let's do a dire arm down. Why not? And we'll make that like 500. Dire arm down. Cool? Perfect. So I've got my wireless remote here. There we go. That should move the arm down. Now the other thing I need to do is get set up with dire arm up and that would be um, pretty much and I'm trying to figure out how much space I need for my whole moving system here and I'm thinking I might be a little bit tight here but we'll see what we can do. I definitely need to be hmm, how to do this. Definitely tight. I did a little testing in a bit of a single player world here and determined how big I need or how much space I need and this will definitely be a close one but we're gonna see if I can pull it off. So here and here connect over with, do I have any of these things here? Yeah, that'll work for now. Here. Well, that's actually not going to be good because that's going to stick. Hmm. Give me a second. Okay, guys, after a little bit of tweaking, I think I got a pretty nice setup here. Let's see. Now, again, I haven't completely tested this, so I might have to change it in a bit. But let's go to shot. Um, so let's do arm up. Ta-da! Arm up works well. I like that. Oh, I hope I didn't move it too far up. Let's try arm down now. Oh, nice. That worked pretty well, actually. Look at it go. Ha! Awesome. Perfect. Beautiful. All right. Now I can try making my Caterpillar drive, which will hopefully work out for me. So let's get that part going right now. All right, guys. I tried my best to get this working, um, but no such luck. So I'm going to build it underneath. I wanted to build it up top there, but it just wouldn't fit um, as far as I could tell. So I'm going to go ahead and do this build like so. I kind of have it like mapped out the way I want it to work. So let's give this thing all a shot and see how lucky I can be in getting it to actually work. So let's see here. Actually, I want this guy to face this direction. Cool. Yeah, that should be good. And then this guy needs to face this direction. So this thing's job will be moving it that way. And we want this guy to also move that way. So that should be like that. Cool. And then uh, let's get some wiring set up here. Don't mind the lag. And then I need some wiring like this. And I'm going to leave a block out because I don't have any of these. Oh, and by the way, Tog joined us. How's it going, Tog? Good. And maybe something like this right here. Um, and this is going to be where my wireless transmitter goes, or receiver, for example. And this will face like this. We'll make this, uh, I don't know, 502. And we'll call this uh, dire quarry left. Sure. Why not? We'll call that left. Because, well, I don't know where the front's going to be. I guess I could call it right. If I want to call that direction the front. I'll call it right. Why not? Cool. All right. So now all I need is a uh, bit of power. And I need to get some repeaters. I'm going to go make those real quick. And I'll be back. Tog's going into the workshop, and he's not noticed yeah. what's wrong with it yet. Like, his OCD should be taking over and being like, there's something missing here. I wasn't sure quite if it was my client 
Or not. <laughs> well, it's... Rather than ask the chunk reset? Yeah. Yeah, and we, we had that earlier know today. Which mod it is, because I think it encompasses all of them in this chunk. Yeah, all like that chunk was probably ICT. like the most compact chunk that had just mm. probably every mod in it. We had IC2, we had Red Power Timers, we had Red Power Tubes, we had Computer Craft, we had... No, Red everything Crafts. is in that chunk, for real. Yeah. I think the only oh, thing was factorization. on top. You had a lot of stuff down the stairs. Yeah, come here. <laughs> Yeah, like there was that whole rail system underneath and everything. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry, I'm, the player's on the case. He's gonna get it fixed. Like that's what happens, right, on a test server. He's gonna. Are they like in that? Um, They'll restart. Uh, roll, roll the server back. I think they're just gonna roll that one chunk back. Oh. Or something. You, you, you think? I don't. I don't do know. That? Who am I? What do I know? I don't know nothing. You know. Yep. And... This place is a mess. Yeah, my Cobra Jack. Why? That's not that sign. It's a little bit of a mess, right? You, you like what we've done to the place, huh? Not too shabby. Uh, what is this room in here? That's specific. I should probably build just a new battery box, but. Do not take ED upgrades or respond in. Oh. These barrels contain what was bat stuffed. Yeah, there was some back stuffage going on there. That was kind of neat. Why didn't lock. they just, like, get rid of them all? Because there was... They wanted to keep it since we did get that, but I don't know. It's been easier to delete. Who cares? The uh, other part of that room, though, is Neptune's little tiny basic circuit gate thing that works. It's like a miniature version of my factory. And it works. Or Dyer chimes in there. What? It, huh? it does what, what now? What? Basically, you go up, you say, make timer, and it'll make a timer. It takes a few minutes, but... It's pretty nice. Yeah. Still making that factory, hopefully. I have managers now, so that should be interesting. Where is, like, the type stuff in part of it? Up here. You know where everyone would go. Little fourth computer. I'm gonna use computer craft. Neptune little... circuit crafter. EG make timer. Only easy parts. Yeah, I asked him. I was like, "Where's the state cell?" He's like, uh... "Only easy parts." <laughs> <laughs> well, it didn't say that when I asked. I think it did. No, oh, well, I didn't read. I don't. Right. Read. So, do we know like what was in this junk that wasn't in other junks? I. I think that covers all my items here, maybe? Well, I went I to see good. if advan uh, the advanced computer... I guess we'll find it, out. And I looked at RD's room and it wasn't there. There was a lot of random stuff in the crash. I'm so used system. to flying on the... On the, yeah, feed the beast uh, thing. On the Feed the Beast and Sans map that I just got done with, with Alan. So I think my repeater is backwards. That's probably going to have to be reversed. Peter's backwards? So, yeah, I don't remember what all was in here. I might have to go watch some of your videos. A lot. It was... I know a lot doesn't help. And if your chest was in that chunk, I know that. No, wait, it's the right way. Why aren't you moving? It may be in the chest. I yeah, should go we're... check out my base. And Did see. everything move here? Did I do this right the first time? That's impossible. Go check your base, but I don't think a lot, all the ender chests got you because... Uh, nope, I missed this guy. I knew I missed yeah, something. Yeah, Doing. Totally missed something. Why is there a radio in my house? I don't know. Uh, were you aware that you could hook up wireless redstone to computer craft computers now as peripheral? I was, but I wasn't spoiling that for the YouTube video yet. Well, it's hooked up on the website of NEI, so... I'm sure it is. I looked because I didn't know how to use it at first. My bad. Why is this not moving my block the way it should? 
My base appears to be okay. Hmm. That's good. Good question. I'll be back in a minute, you two, once I figure this out. All right, guys, so I missed my cover. I knew I, I knew I was gonna do that because I'm stupid. Bad dire wolf. We're about to use that one. New digger. I am a new digger. Next to the half fill ATAT. The what? You'll see. Yeah, I didn't hear what you said. The half fill ATAT. The at at. At at. Okay. Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah, why did they move the book to New Digger? It's in Digger, I don't know. Apparently it cleans up the place. I don't know. Um, there's a whole lot more books in here. Just go to Dyer's uh, house. And there's one named Wither, too. Yeah, uh, there go to Dyer's go. house and you'll That'll find work. a book that goes to her. Uh... Why were half of the symbols in the book? Question marks. Because we updated Mistcraft and maybe things changed. Might not update uh, exist anymore. Nice, it's working. Like most of the time, look, it's time working. It's working. It's working. Yay! All right, I'm I'm pleased now. It does what I wanted to do. All right, I think we're pretty close to wrapping up, point guys. Yep, time to wrap up. I'm sorry to say. So I'm going to spend a little time off camera, see if I can clean up this mess a little bit, because it's totally a mess. It's just like frames everywhere trying to make this center block move, but that's okay. It is what it is, but uh, we've got three wireless transmission modes going on right now. We've got, um, you know, this guy to move up and down, and then we've got this guy to move to the right. So now I have to build another one to move to the left. Um, and then another one for forward and backward. And you can see here that I took up a 4x4 four four square, leaving a little space in the middle here. Now I can make up another 4x4 four four square for the next set, and then I can do 4x4 four four here on all sides. So that's why this 9x9 nine nine works out pretty well for this whole, you know, caterpillar drive thing. So, Direwolf20 signing off, episode 58. Hope you guys enjoyed checking it out, and come back next time. I will, um... Probably get a couple more of the Caterpillar Drive pieces put together because it's just repeating what I did just, you know, over and over again. So I'll do that off camera probably and then come back next time, like I said, to, uh, you know, get this next component here built. I'm probably going to have a next floor story about this and all kinds of other cool stuff. So, all right, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode and take it easy. Ooh, Tal got a new skin. Nice.